Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with a very quick uh, TLDR of the New Year's event for 2022. So this is going to be a little bit longer uh, intro than I'm going to do the other ones, but I'm going to make, you know, the, the long videos that I usually do for, and I kind of explain everything there is with the event, but I'm also going to do these small ones and see how guys you like it. You know, comment down below or like the video if you think that is also a cool, I won't, uh, you know, do one or the other. I will do both still, but if you guys enjoy doing these smaller ones of course this intro is going to be a lot smaller when we you know go forward but i just kind of wanted to explain why i have two of these videos up and one is going to be very quick i'm not going to go in depth in every single step as i usually do or bring like more content it's just going to be quick going through every single step and just doing basically everything for you guys so if you like it make sure you comment down below or like the video and stuff like that so i know if you guys want this as well like i said this will be a lot shorter uh, just more to the bone and nothing depth in depth stuff like that just going every single step and then if you want to see like the longer video you can go and watch that one as well so it's both is going to still be there if you guys like shorter quick ones here so Let's jump into the very first thing. Of course, before we hit into step number one, I also want to say that we do have the 14 days every single day doing small tasks as ores and doing a dungeon and stuff like that, especially on Saturdays, the ores double uh, free double XP potions there on Saturday. So make sure you do at least do one dungeon. Even if you don't play troll very much anymore, just make sure you do that one on, on, on Saturdays. Just do one dungeon and you, you, got, you got double XP potions for if you come back to the game so just wanted to say that before we head into step number one all right so for step number one you have to go to the hub and you have to visit the radiant day spring as you can see right here by visiting it you are going to complete step number one and we can go on to step number two step number two is to throw 10 confetti balls and you can either get them off the marketplace or you can go to the builder's crafting bench make yourself a fun factory if you already have a fun factory go ahead and craft yourself 10 confetti balls it's going to cost you 100 glim each and you just throw them on the ground and that's complete step number two and we go into step number three Step number three is to defeat 50 enemies. It's any enemies around. It doesn't have to be enemies outside of dungeons because it'll be inside of dungeons. If you find a skull dungeon, it's gonna go pretty quick and let's just defeat 15 enemies and you are done with step number three and we can go into step number four. Step number four is to take down 10 one-star dungeons. Make sure that you do just regular one-star dungeons. It probably doesn't work in the three-star dungeons, but just go about your day and get yourself 10 dungeons, if one-star dungeons, and you will complete step number four and we can then head into step number five. Step number five is more of the same kind of, but this time you have to do three star dungeons. It does work with five star dungeons because there's two one, there's two three star dungeons inside a five star dungeon. So you can get to bang two out by just going to a five star dungeon or you can just do regular dungeons, five star dungeons. Just go around your, doing whatever you do uh, normally in Trove and you'll get your uh, five three star dungeons done. And that is step number five. We can now go to step number six. So step number six is to hit the orbs in the hub 10 times. The orbs kind of spawn every like five minutes or so. Just stick around in the hub again and it'll, it'll drop from the sky. You just hit it with your check 10 times and you are going to complete step number six and we are, can move on to step number seven. Step number seven is also the last step and the last step here is to jump 10 times around in the hub. Uh, just to celebrate that the revenue uh, is upon us, the event and you is, is here. So jump 10 times in the hub. It has to be in the hub or it won't work. So just after you've hit, you know, your uh, 10 times with the orbs, you can now also just jump around 10 times and you'll complete this step. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Helps me out very much and it's super much appreciated. See you guys in the next one. Bye.